Life's about taking chances. For some creatures, it's just getting from A to B. Every day, plant eaters run a gauntlet of predators. But there are some that push their luck. If they run into trouble, they have nothing but their wits and instinct to guide them. Luckily, sometimes that's enough. And when those emergency responses kick in, it can lead to some of nature's greatest escapes. A monitor lizard is planning a great escape. It readies itself for its mission. A dangerous heist that will take it before the jaws of death. A crocodile, one of the most dangerous creatures in its African riverside home. Not the obvious animal to try and take advantage of. The croc has eggs buried in the sand. Our lizard is not the only egg thief. The mother's like a coiled spring, working hard to keep the attackers at bay. But this lizard's an experienced thief. He bides his time. Safety can be found beneath the ground, at least for a family of hamsters. They excavated their own palatial estate with multiple chambers. Now four weeks old, the youngsters are getting a bit big to bunk together. They need to start exploring the wider world. Virtually anything green is worth a nibble. As the little ones complete their transition from milk to an adult diet. The outside world can be a dangerous place. A rodent slayer, a polecat, picks up their scent. The lithe predator tries breaking and entering. This entrance is a bit small, but he has a plan B. With a bendy body, he moves like a pipe cleaner through the tunnels. He's in. The nesting chamber's full of the scent of hamsters, but the litter has gone. The natural world is full of escape artists, and they deploy all manner of tricks to get out of a tight spot. The Amazon jungle 
is full of deadly hunters. Some might run from the threat, but not this cool customer. A snake flicks out its tongue to gather scent and locate its prey. But its vision is based on movement. It can smell the frog, but as long as it keeps still, the snake can't see it. It escapes unseen. Some larger animals rely on the same technique. Roe deer fawns are weak and vulnerable at birth. Mother keeps a close eye on the baby, but when she needs to feed, she relies on the fawn to sit tight, lying low and waiting for her to return. But the little one's fidgety. Mum spots danger from the bushes. Her bark's a clear instruction to her fawn. It needs to hide. The fox has caught a scent. Luckily, its cover has worked. The fox settles for a mouse. fawn can make its way home. Back at the African nest, and the crocodile's eggs are under threat again. The hippo heavyweights are not interested in the clutch, only in a sunny spot on the bank where they can rest. Another close call. A more insidious threat is waiting in the wings. Tired from its guard duty, the mother's in danger of overheating and seeks some shade. The dickops can relax at their nest, knowing the great reptile is off duty, but the peace is short-lived. The monitor strikes. A smaller lizard tries to move in, but he's not giving up his long awaited prize. Saved by a stick. It was a close call but the monitor escaped with more than its life. With prizes like this, it's worth the risk. Escapes aren't always executed by running. An adder is on the prowl.
But weighing less than a coin, the tiny harvest mouse can even climb blades of grass. It's soon out of reach of the snake. On the grasslands of East Africa, a cheetah mother stands guard while her cubs play. The cubs are well fed and contented, but having the remains of their last meal nearby is making their mother nervous. An easy meal rarely goes unnoticed on the plains. She watches nervously as the vultures descend. The birds fight angrily with each other, but they are not a threat to the cheetahs. However, the squabbling flock is like a beacon to other scavengers. The heavier hyena has a bone-crushing bite force that would make short work of the cubs. Cheetahs are built for speed. Unlike other cats, they lack retractable claws, and so are less adept at climbing. But with the threat from below, they scramble out of reach. Luckily, the hyenas kept busy chasing vultures. And with the coast clear, the family can make their escape. One of the biggest survival challenges is winter itself. Some animals migrate or hibernate to escape the cold. But for those who are left behind, it's tough. Food is in short supply, and every opportunity to eat must be taken. With its built-in feathery snowshoes, the ptarmigan is light on its feet. For a hungry fox, it's too inviting to resist. But when it comes to quick getaways, the ptarmigan leaves the fox with an empty stomach. In this land of ice, another winter wanderer has a lucky break. With its sensitive nose, the mink discovers the body of a fish. In a land of ice, every meal counts. But it doesn't go unnoticed. A buzzard drops in for lunch. Luckily, the mink has emergency exits for times like this.
the South American summer drains its grasslands. Fish are caught out in the shallows, and soon all manner of fish eaters arrive to take advantage of them. The top predators, armed with power-tooth-filled jaws, are the caiman. The crocs line up, corralling the fish together. A few fish escape one set of jaws, but likely leap into another. But they are not the only killer in the swamp. The jaguar, the muscular big cat of South America. Here, the hunter can easily become the hunted. Only the alert will escape. Cliffs towering over the Arctic seas are alive with nesting seabirds. The long hours of sunlight bring creatures from all over the world. Birds cling to every ledge. But even in the Arctic summer, the weather is unpredictable. when sea ice is washed against the shore, it creates a problem for baby birds. Something that doesn't go unnoticed by an arctic fox. A chick has leapt from the cliff. Not yet ready to fly, it intended to jump into the sea. Now escorted by its father, it's a race for life. Like a duck to water, the chick's in its element. And the fox must return to its own. Many birds nest high to be out of the reach of predators. But for some youngsters, that can mean a scary journey down. Barnacle geese, another Arctic cliff nester. But living further inland, they now have the challenge of getting their young to water. They are running out of time. The local gulls have spotted the fragile goslings. Trapped against the cliffs, they are an easy target. The parents do their best to drive them away.
It's time to go, and there is only one escape, down. The parents lead the way. Bravely, the first chick takes the plunge. Then another. The third misjudges his jump and takes a tumble. He's a bit dizzy, but all in one piece. The geese can't be everywhere at once. And now, with more of their clutch at the bottom than the top, they must keep the family moving. One gosling hesitated too long, but four out of five have made it. Once they've reached water, their chances of survival increase. A quick getaway is what it's all about. Grasshoppers are a tasty treat to many insect eaters and so need to keep their wits about them. A green lizard. But the cricket's legs are like a coiled spring. When folded, its knee joint is under tension storing up energy, so when the leg is relaxed, the tension can catapult it into the air. Its meter leap would be the equivalent of a human jumping 40 meters from a standing position. But if the hop doesn't outsmart the attacker, then it also has a pair of wings to assist in its getaway. Not all crickets have wings, an easier option for the lizard. Many of the greatest escapes are to evade a predator. It doesn't look like it would be too hard to get away from a sleepy wildcat. But the scramble of squirrels brings him instantly to his senses. The acrobatic rodents are perfectly at home on the vertical trunks, using needle-sharp claws to grip the bark. The cat makes his approach, but the inhabitants of the tree are wary. Still, the squirrels must keep active, hiding the nuts that will see them through winter. With padded feet, he can stalk in silence. The cat can leap three meters into the air, but he still can't outpace the speedy squirrel. In Japan, seeker deer can also use water to escape, but they must return to the hillside to graze. The autumn rut has begun, and the herd has hormones on their minds. Young bucks are starting to practice their sparring techniques 
they don't notice a bear family nearby. With two hungry mouths to feed, it's a constant struggle for the mother to find enough food, especially now as summer's drawing to an end. The bears will sleep through winter, but need to build up their fat reserves in order to make it through their slumber party. A deer would offer a meaty feast that would boost the baby's bodies, readying them to retire. But the cubs don't seem to understand the importance of stealth. The mum makes a last ditch attempt, but the game's up. The bears have blown their cover and the deer make their escape. She tries once more. Bears can run as fast as a horse, but uphill, she can't catch up with the agile deer. The bears will have to turn their attention to leaves and berries, meals that are much less likely to escape. A peaceful scene on the African savanna. A small herd of wildebeest and zebra make their way to a waterhole. But they are being watched. Not just by the giraffes, but by a pride of lions as well. The pack hunters are setting an ambush, spreading out to trap the herd. A coordinated attack that few animals could escape. Unless they have some help from the outside. Herd animals often stick close to giraffes. Like watchtowers, they are excellent at keeping an eye on goings on. They spot the unfolding plan. With advanced warning of the attack, the entire herd has the chance to make tracks. It's always good to have friends in high places when you are plotting an escape. Hungry lions can but watch as their lunch walks off. Another hunt is underway in the South American forest.
the jaguar is hunting again. The caiman seem alert and ready for the attack. But it's a game of patience. With its dappled coat, the cat lies unseen until the great reptiles relax. A deadly mistake. Locked in mortal combat, there can only be one winner. But this time, it's not clear who will escape. The thrashing caiman tries to drown the jaguar, while the cat clings to the back of its skull, trying to subdue its lethal jaws. Both animals are weakening. In a final desperate burst of energy, the jaguar holds the caiman down. He drags the drowned reptile to the shore. The monster defeated will make a mighty meal. A stormy night has kept a litter of fox cubs inside their den to escape the weather. Though over a month old, everything still seems new and frightening to the young foxes. It takes their mother's milk to lure them out into the morning sun. They only have a few weeks left of this rich food supply, and so lap it up. But as their interests start turning towards solid foods, so too does their sense of independence grow. If they are not playing, using each other as target practice, then they are exploring the woods and looking for prey. A red squirrel's gathering nuts for its winter store. And the experimental cub tries the same. but the rustling of a mouse is a target too tempting for any fox cub to ignore. The pursuit is leading him further from the den, and the woods can be a dangerous place. Lynx often prey on young foxes, but luckily, the family have a bolt hole where they can escape. The smaller you are, the more you have to watch your back or find someone to watch it for you. Meerkats are all about cooperation and it's just as well the plains of Namibia are full of danger. When eagles are overhead, 
the troop takes shelter in their extensive burrow system. With just a brave sentinel watching the enemy and letting the rest of the gang know when it's safe to emerge. But there is a far greater foe in the neighborhood. A jackal gets everyone on edge. The meerkats almost seem to be playing a game of chicken. They need to keep the predator in sight, but not go too far from their nearest bolt hole. The jackal needs an element of surprise if it's to succeed and tries to conceal itself in the long grass. But the meerkats know its tricks. The little dog's cunning is no match for the colony's combined forces. By the time it reaches the den, the troop are safely underground. They have multiple tunnels and chambers, keeping them well out of harm's way. Success for any predator is far from assured. Dozens of migrating wildebeest crowd the waterhole. Crammed close together, their many hooves kicking up dust, they can barely make out their surroundings. The perfect time for an ambush. Even the king of beasts sometimes gets it wrong. The waterhole is the perfect place for an ambush. With thick scrub, the cats can spread out among the herd unseen. The migrating wildebeest are thirsty. Getting to water is the only thing on their minds. But they are not the only animals around the waterhole. There are eyes in the skies, or at least the canopy. Sharp-eyed birds and monkeys sound the alarm. Chaos breaks out, and the lions are unable to regain their advantage. For the herd, it's a lucky escape. Plant eaters can't afford to drop their guard, but they've got to put their heads down to eat. Without herd mates to keep an eye out for him, this Grant's gazelle hangs out by some ostriches. With long necks and huge eyes, they are usually quick to spot danger. The mother cheetah is feeling the pressure to make a kill. 
she has hungry mouths to feed. The perfect getaway. The disappointed cubs wonder where dinner is. Predators kill to make a living, but for every kill they make, many other potential victims will get away. To better their chances, young Cheetah Brothers stick together, a coalition. With combined forces, they stand a greater chance of success. Boldly, they ruffle the wildebeest herd, looking for any signs of weakness. The attack is swift. A wildebeest is heavy and easily able to fend off a single cheetah. It stands little chance against the pack. They work together to pin it down, trying to stay clear of the lethal horns. It's soon over, and the brothers will eat well. The rest of the herd continue their journey. But at the base of the food chain, the wildebeest are going to need more than luck on their sides if they are to survive the migration. Living near the equator, water is everything. It drives the animal's movements. But the same life-giving liquid can hide a deadly surprise. Every time they encounter a waterhole, they pile in. Hundreds of thirsty animals block each other into ever tighter spaces. But it's not a good idea to block your escape route. They seem to sense the danger. They are alert and nervous, but also thirsty. Crocodiles know they just need to bide their time. 
The bull fights with all his might. Other crocodiles are drawn in to help dispatch the victim. It seems that all is lost. But the crocodile lets go. A lucky escape. Perhaps it just wasn't this bull's time. Jumpy from the attack, the wildebeest are expecting the next strike, but they can't resist the urge to quench their thirst. Sooner or later, they must drink. And this time, the crocodiles are not so forgiving. With top speeds of more than 20 kilometers per hour and over 2,000 kilos of pressure in its bite, the crocodiles are relentless. But even for all the crocodile's might, there are still escapees. young wildebeest leaps for all it's worth. You can't win them all. Even the most effective predators have bad days. There will always be great escapes.